in section 8.7, we're going to be multiplying polynomials together. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on multiplying a binomial times a binomial, but we'll mix it up and include some trinomials in that as well. When you're doing this, it's basically a distributive property here. What's in front of the second set of the parentheses, you're going to be multiplying whatever you see times both spots. You're going to multiply this x times both pieces in the second set of the parentheses. And then you're eventually going to be multiplying the 5 times both pieces of the second set of the parentheses. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to kind of show it piece by piece. And we'll discuss uh, <coughs> what we refer to as the FOIL method, which kind of walks you through how to do this. Okay, I'm going to multiply x times x, which we know we're going to add their exponents together when we do so. x times 2, real easy. It's just 2x. Okay, the third multiplication comes when you're multiplying the 5 across. So 5 times x is 5x. And then finally, the 5 times the 2 is your last multiplication, which gives you, of course, 10. Okay, if it's a binomial times a binomial, there's going to be four multiplications here. And quite often, if you do it in the same order I did, these middle terms are going to be like terms. But always double check after you do multiplication, see if there's any terms that can be combined. So that can, of course, be combined into a 7x. I'm going to try and keep my answers with descending powers of x. So x squared, then an x at first, and the constant after that. <coughs> combined like terms gets down to a trinomial here. So most of the problems we're going to be working with are. And I said sometimes that's referred to as foiling. <clears throat> if you have to multiply a binomial times a binomial. Yes, it's a distributive property, but if you use this acronym, it just kind of help you remember that there are the four multiplications in which order we most often do them in. If you do them out of order, you're still going to get the right answer. Okay, but the F in FOIL stands for the first terms, which is the first thing in each parentheses. I multiplied X times X. They're both the first piece whether they're actually an x or some other variable, whether it's a coefficient there or not, doesn't matter. Just whatever is in the first spot of each parentheses, you're going to multiply together. Okay, the O stands for the outer terms, the far outside of the parentheses. The far, the far left multiplied by the far right. And that's what gave us the 2x in this example. I stands for the inner terms. On the inside, I have this 5 times that x. And the L stands for the last terms in each of the parentheses. The last term in the first parentheses times the last term in the second parentheses. That's what gave us the 10. So first, outer, inner, last. Kind of just, it's a good way to remind you to do all four multiplications. And if we all do them in the same order, everyone will understand it and not get lost. Okay, looking at examples, and I'll be referring to foiling on these. Once again, just distributive property, we're going to foil. The first terms, the f, is x times x. Add your exponents, get x squared. Outer terms. Your inside terms. And the last term in each set of parentheses. Okay, but if you ever forget the first, outer, inner, last, just know you're going to take this first spot times both pieces in the second set of the parentheses. And our second spot, in this case a 6, times both pieces in the second set of the parentheses. Always double check for combining like terms. Remember when you add terms together, you do not change their exponents. So 4x plus 6x is just 10x. You keep the invisible exponent of 1 on it. Okay, just combining a few sections. 8, 1, we were multiplying things together. Remember to add the exponents. 8.5, we started talking about combining like terms. 8.6, we did the distributive property with just a monomial in front of each parentheses. So if you think you understand it, give pause the screencast, give number 2 a try, and work on your own. That's always an option. Kind of uses a study guide, even if you do understand what's going on. X times both pieces. Then I'm going to take the 7 times both spots. Giving me, of course, a 7x 
and a negative 7. Combining like terms. Occasionally we still have the habit of you see this subtraction sign, so you think whatever you're going to write in the middle is going to have a subtraction sign on it. But no, we just think of this as negative 1 plus 7, that ends being a positive 6, that's a sign you got to use. We still occasionally make uh, kind of silly errors like that. When we're combining like terms, we're not careful enough. Number three, very similar problem, is just we have a coefficient on our variables. Other than that, everything in the process is the same. So I'll show each individual multiplication. The first term in each set of parentheses. Multiply them, get 2x squared. The outside two terms get multiplied, and you come up with a 4x. The innermost terms, the ones right next to each other on the inside, give you a 9x. And then you have 9 times 2, of course, giving you an 18. Combining like terms, in the middle, 4x plus 9x gives you this 13. I kept everything else the same. If you happen to write them in a different order, I'll be counting them right, but try your best, as often as it's convenient, to write them in the descending powers of x as our answers. If your variable happens to be y, same thing, descending powers of y, as long as there's only one variable involved. In this section, we will be multiplying binomials times trinomials. I think I'm just going to skip those problems for now and practice some more that just have the four multiplications in them. Number six, since there's no coefficients there, I think it'll be fairly easy. I'll skip that. There's maybe more challenging problems like eight and nine here. Do your four multiplications. This is 7 times negative 3. Don't think you're adding them. Distributive property is a multiplication. So, you come up with a negative 21 x squared. Your second multiplication is 7 times 1. And keep the variable attached to it. 7x times 1 is just going to be 7x. Okay, a couple different ways this one can be complicated because you got to really think of this being a negative 5. Anytime there's a subtraction, but it's involved in a multiplication, think of that negative actually being attached to the number. So it's negative 5 times negative 3x is a positive 15x. And one more multiplication, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So every one of these examples so far, I've done my four multiplications and look to combine like terms. Keep the negative 21x squared the same. In the middle, combine those for a 22x, and the minus 5 doesn't change. All right, one of the reasons I want to do number 9 is because it has x's and y's. Just, you've seen us multiply different letters before, so make sure you understand it. Do your four multiplications, and it can be a 3x squared when you add your invisible exponents. Okay, x times your 2y. Even though there are different letters involved, you can still multiply them. That like terms rule only involves additions and subtractions. So we multiply that, we get a positive 2xy. Try and write them alphabetically as best you can. y times 3x, I'm going to put the x in front of the y, exponents don't change because they're different letters, we don't combine them, and the last multiplication gives you a 2y squared. x to the first, y to the first on both of these terms, so same variable, same exponent, I can combine them. Rewrite my 3x squared. Okay. This is going to give me a 5xy. And on the end, that 2y squared is not going to change either. So 
I just combine the middle terms into one spot. Right, I'll cut the tutorial off here. We'll pick up and make another one that shows us how to multiply a binomial times a trinomial. Really, it's just distributed property. In this case, you're going to have six multiplications in the problem, like number 10, instead of the four we've been doing here.